<laughs> we shall have a look at the tail of the tape very briefly. You see the difference in age, height, and reach. And we'll go to the ring, and our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. In the super middleweight division, the referee for this bout is Larry Hazard. And now introducing first in the red corner, he's wearing the white trunks with red and green trim from Wanaku, New Jersey. He weighed in today at 169 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, 27 and one, 19 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Chappie Chan. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with blue trim from Bay City, Michigan. He weighs 169 and three quarter pounds also. His professional record, 48, 11 and one, 39 knockout victories, introducing Murray Sutherland. Okay, fellas, you're both familiar with the rules. Well, of both the fighters, game. Tex, look very relaxed. They're both smiling, laughing over in the corner. They won't be in a moment, but they really look relaxed coming into this go. Well, you know, uh, white boys, a lot of times, real hard to get upset with things like this. Something simple as a fight. This is a simple matter. Well, uh, it looks to be semi-simple. I mean, hell, you got a white boy in there, and he just got another. And all he has to do is fight another white boy. So, how hard could that be? The referee is Larry Hazard giving the instructions to the fighters. And the traditional handshake, and here we go. Bobby Chaz is the local favorite. We have a capacity crowd here at the ballroom of the Atlantis Casino Hotel. <coughs> and Sutherland came right out after him with a chopping right hand that missed. Well, the guy was sure trying to get every, cheap, every, every shot in that he could. He wanted to get it over with in about 15 seconds. Well, I don't believe you'd have got it over with that quick, but he sure got some attention at least. Nice little right hand underneath there by Bobby Chess. We talked with Bob about his approach. He said if he keeps his hands up, I'm going downstairs. If he wants to keep them down, I'm going upstairs. I'll go through them if I have to, he said. Uh, without question, Bobby Chess is looking to get the job done, whatever it takes. Whether it's upstairs, downstairs, I find Bobby Chess to be a very efficient fighter in uh, several realms of the way to fight. He's doing a real good job now, keeping his hands up, good discipline, good posture. Uh, seems got to be getting hit with a jab from Murray Sutherland. and seems to be throwing pretty efficient punches on the inside by falling inside. Chaz is a little upset that this is not a USBA title fight because Murray Sutherland couldn't make the weight. They have an agreement, really, that if Chaz wins this fight tonight, he'll have to give Sutherland a rematch before he gets a fight with the champion, the Korean. Well, that's a real interesting point, uh, uh, case in point. So it's there. almost a free ride for Sutherland here tonight. Well, that's always good to see. I mean, from Murray's point of view, certainly. But I'm telling you right now, <laughs> judging from the way that Bobby Chaz is working that body on Murray Sutherland, Nothing about tonight he hurt him with that body blow, didn't he? Yes, he did. He's catching him very cleanly with those good turning left hooks of that body. He's pivoting off of it, using good leverage. And Bobby Chad looks to be a very efficient individual at this point in time. None of those three punches landed, however. Good well, defense by Murray. Sutherland wants to keep coming in and use that left jab. That's probably his best weapon, thanks. Oh, well, there's a good right cross. And a good right hook after the left jabs by Sutherland, but Chaz had his hands up. Sutherland certainly seems to be the more efficient fighter from the outside due to a longer reach. Uh, whereas Bobby Chaz seems to be taking more advantage of an inside game plan by getting those short, crisp counter punches. It's a 10-round fight. It was scheduled for 12. That was a good right hand, but Chaz can take a punch. He and sure can. He came back with a great counter left a good right hand. hand. This is an outstanding first round. Yes, it is. I don't think either one is fearful of the other, do you? No, uh, when you got two white boys like this coming to war, you're not going to have a whole lot of trouble with uh, somebody ducking and running. Now, quite often you'll find that uh, you won't find two white boys this tough in the same city, much less the same ring. But these cats are stone coming to war. And we're down to the last five seconds of the first round. A good opening round of a 10-rounder. Some good solid blows were landed. 
Yes, Cobb, if I had to take a guess, if I looked at Murray Sutherland right now, I'd say he looks older than 31 years old. He does to me, doesn't he, you? Well, I'll tell you right now, Murray Sutherland has some hard miles on him. He's been with some really good fighters, and he's had some real wars before. He has fought some good ones. Michael Spinks, for example. Saad Mohammed for another. Thomas Hearns, Tony Mundine, and Not to John Paul this. Park, the Korean, who took the title from him. There, the good, straight right hand. Nice and short and crisp. Yes, it was. But I think that the more damage is being done by Bobby Chet to the body, Murray's still got his hands up real good. He seems to be catching most of those, uh, those punches, but they are sharp, crisp punches by Bobby Chet without question. A lot of people think you just slow an opponent down by going to the body, but you can hurt him down there, too, can't you? I can tell you the truth here and now. Uh, as many punches as I've absorbed, and I probably eat more leather than, than McDonald's to serve hamburgers, I can guarantee you, you take a punch to the body, and you take that sucker home with you. A good punch to the head hurts, and it stings, and you bleed, or you don't bleed, but you can take some of those body punches home with you for weeks at a time. It's like Jez is willing to take him. By the way, he said before the fight that he didn't think that Sutherland had a punch that could shake him up. We'll find out about that, but he doesn't seem to be backing away. He's staying right on top of him. No, neither one of these guys have any trouble uh, with finding out where the action is. Both of them are dead interested in getting it done. Nice little right hand just by Bobby Chez. Got a piece of him, but just missed. People don't expect it. A lot of people thought this could be an early knockout by Chez. Do you? Uh, it's very difficult to say, depending on uh, exactly Murray Sutherland's, uh, the, depending on the way that Murray Sutherland fights Bobby Chez. He could very easily be in line for an early knockout because Bobby Chez is very aggressive. Murray Sutherland is very aggressive. The way the power structures match up, either one of them could be in line to get hurt real quickly. It could happen in a hurry. One thing about Chez, when you hit him, you wake him up even a little bit more. He does seem to get very enthusiastic upon uh, <clears throat> negative reinforcement. A good combination that time. Two left hands. Really good. Sharp caught, uh, caught Murray leading in. Really nice counter punching by Bobby Chess. He's going off the first motion of Murray Sutherland and throwing one and two punch counter punches right off the time. He doesn't miss very often. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's counter punching. He's waiting for his shots. He's taking those, uh, taking those lead punches of Murray Sutherland to returning fire. Left jab and then a right to the midsection. That's his approach. Now the left hook to the midsection. There was a low blow, and the referee Larry Hazard said something to Chez about it. We're down to the final 10 seconds of the second round. Nice little counter punch by Bobby Chez. He seems to be the boss. Yes, it looked real good. Okay. This is the third round. We watched the left hand of Bobby Chez that he landed in the second round. Yes, he did. Very clean, clean landing of that left hand there. Very nice time on his jab. Looks like Sutherland wants to try to stay on top of him, use that left hand a little bit more, try to keep him at bay. Bobby Chez said something very interesting this afternoon, Texan. He said it's hard to hit Sutherland twice. He's going to hit him once, and then he'll back away, and he might even go down, but he won't let you land a series of punches. Murray is real good for that, and uh, that's a real sign of a uh, real experience and a true pro, because you can nail him once, but trying to hit him in a three, two and three, and four punch combination is very difficult indeed. Murray's got good posture, keeps his hands up well, and a guy with Murray's, Murray's experience is very difficult to hurt too badly when he has his hands up, when he remains in good posture, and when his concentration is right on time. Chaz has uh, 
changed the style of Sutherland here at the outset of the round. Murray wanted to come in on top of them. But Chez didn't back away, and now he's got Sutherland a little bit wary about moving in and running into those short chopping and very accurate punches of Bobby Chez. Bobby's done a real good job with his counter punching action uh, this fight. I'm real, real happy for Bobby. Murray's trying to establish that jab and keep Bobby off, off pace and off uh, balance. But he doesn't seem to be able to get it. But that good body attack that Bobby Chez has been landing. He's buckled a little bit with that one. Well, I guarantee you, none of those body punches feel good. And you can tell we're in the third round of this fight that Sutherland's punches don't, just don't pack the steam of the punches of Bobby Chaz. Bobby Chaz has a lot more impact concussion with his punches. He says he doesn't mind being outsized by his opponent. He said, it's always been like that for me. Well, there's no question that you're not going to terminate Bobby Chaz, any size of man, kind of color, because this boy comes to war. And uh, he's going to be interested in doing what he can do correctly. And when he executes that, then he's a very valid and dangerous warrior. Sutherland tried a little tactic a while ago of bending at the knees, swinging from side to side, looking for an opening. But Chaz is keeping those hands up very well. When you have good discipline like that and good concentration to maintain the correct posture and structure while punching, it's very difficult to hurt a man too desperately bad. He drove them right to the ropes and landed quite a few. The trainer of uh, Bobby Chez is, is Tommy Parks. Chez won't let him off the ropes. He's getting through there, too. We're going to stay with you at the end of this third round. There are less than 20 seconds remaining in the round. Chez pinned him up against the ropes and held him right there and landed some very good punches. He certainly, certainly is maintaining control of this belt by not letting Murray Southern execute uh, correct technique. And he's keeping him off balance, keeping him inside. It's the end of the third round. We'll stay right here. Let's check the rankings in the division, the super middleweight where these fellows fight. The champion is Sutherland, the USBA on the right with Vinny Curto, the top-ranked contender, and then Bobby Chez down to number two, and it's the same with the IBF. But in the IBF, Bobby Chez ranks ahead of Murray Sutherland. And the champion is Chong Pyle Park, who took the title from Sutherland in a fight in Korea. Evidently, when you travel, and I just watched some of this action when he pinned Sutherland against the ropes and wouldn't turn him loose. I think you'll see right here where Murray's got his hands up real good and taking most of the shock off of Bobby's punches. However, Bobby is maintaining control of the bout and is initiating the action that he wants to do that he looks good at doing, which is pinning Murray against the ropes. Seen the classic boxing style of Sutherland. He's almost straight up and nice to come in and leading with the jab, but he hasn't been able to land that right hand, which he threw right at the outset of the fight. Well, it's a lot harder to throw that right hand and make it land when the other guy's interested in fighting, too. Especially Chad. You throw your right hand, you're going to get hit with his left, aren't you? He sure are. He's got a great little counter motion, both with the hook and the right hand. He's got a nice timing, good body attack, changes his focus from low to high. Uh, he's doing a real good job for this fight. And a uh, nice little hook off the jab. And a nice little counter right hand by Bobby Chess. Nice hook off the jab by Murray Sutherland. And uh, Murray Sutherland is showing a lot of real good experience. Bobby Chess is showing a lot of difference in focus. Change of both angry attack and efficiency level by going low and high. Wow. Nice right hand. Looping right hand. Bobby hand that one landed. That one landed. That looping right hand didn't have a lot of smoke behind it, but it hurt. Murray Sutherland's very difficult to hurt at this point in time because he's not out of gas, not anywhere close. His structure hasn't broken down. He has very good posture. Whereas Bobby Chess is controlling the fight, he is not hurting Murray Sutherland to the point of uh, real danger for Murray Sutherland. However, don't get the idea any of this stuff feels good. Nice counter hook by Murray Sutherland. You'll see Chez when we watch him, he'll lower his shoulders and hope that his opponent comes down with him before he throws that left hook. Yes, he does. He sets that up very well by both flying a, a low attack with his shoulders and feigning it to the head, uh, starting either low or high and changing focus. Murray Sutherland throws some nice little inside punches. Bobby Chess with good defense. Murray coming right back. Bobby battling back and forth. A really good inside fight here. Really good little body work by Bobby Chess. Sutherland knows how to take care of himself. And he nice. Has a pretty good right hand there. He sure did a great counter shot by, by Murray Sutherland. 
Bobby Chubbs was a good right hand trying to land that to that body. Murray Sutherland was good structure, good defense. Keeping his hands up nicely. Chubbs has lost only one professional fight, and he broke his hand in that loss to Mustafa Hamshill in November of 1982. Yes, he did. Didn't and fight for more than a year after that. That was a very difficult time for Bobby Chess, certainly, because he was going through a lot of emotional problems at that point in time and uh, going through a physical strain of not being able to maintain his uh, consistency in a profession. Murray Sutherland coming on. Bobby Chess roaring back right now with little inside punches. Murray Sutherland trying to set up a jab, trying to set up an attack that will foil Bobby, foil Bobby Chess's plan on getting inside and maintaining consistency. But Bobby... Bobby roaring back. Harris Southern and playing with him a little bit. He got hit in the belly and he said, wow. <laughs> Is Murray, it to say you didn't hurt me? Well, let me tell you, dog. Every time I ever got hit, it hurt. Maybe Murray's a different. But last time I looked, all his nerve in his work. I think Sutherland's gaining a little confidence because he has been shaken up by the many punches like Anheuser Busch has slipped in for this fight. Alongside is Josephine Abercrombie, who does so much for boxing in the Houston area. Tex Cobb, you agree with me that Southern is gaining a little more confidence because he really has been rocked by those uh, punches of Bobby Chase. Well, uh, Bobby has his hands on very clean just yet because Murray maintains a good posture and hands up uh, real well. However, Murray is changed, uh, gaining confidence in the fact that even when they're coming in, if you're not landing with all the efficiency that he had once feared. Yeah, he's taking a punch, so he can start countering now. That's something he wasn't doing the first couple of rounds of the fight. We're in the fifth round of a ten-rounder. He's starting to do a little counter-punching of his own. He'll take a punch to land one, and he clipped him with the right hand. Bobby's not hurt. Bobby's got his hands up for a while. Nice little inside punching by Bobby Chaz. Mary Sutherland asked us if we plug his chimney sweep business he has in Bay City, Michigan. Well, all I've got to say about that is if you've got any sense and you're in Bay City, you ought to let this man clean your chimney or sweep your front porch, whatever you want to sweep, because this sucker comes to war, and I'd get all his money up front if I was If it'd be me, I can guarantee you. Nice jab by Murray Sutherland. Shame they didn't land. Bobby Chase got good defense, nice head in motion, good inside attack. Look that right hand between the gloves of Sutherland. He's very slick with that. Bobby Chase got a world of experience in this. Well, that one landed too. Yes, executing very valid angles. Bobby Chess swinging for the nickel bleachers. He went for downtown with that right hand, but missed with it. Let's see how Sutherland gets off the ropes. Well, Chess lets him get off. Nice counter right hand by Murray Sutherland. Bobby Chess swinging good. Bobby Chess looking to be the stronger of the three right now. Moving Murray around pretty much as well. They've been waiting three years to get in the ring with one another. I think they're both a bit wary of the other, but here they are tonight. Well, they'd have to be wary of the, of the other. They're certainly respectful of each other's ability. Very valid execution technique by both Murray and Bobby Chess. Nice, nice leaping left body attack, uh, left and right body attack by Bobby Chess. Murray Sutherland using motion to step aside, step around Bobby Chess, maintain or neutralize Bobby's body attack. One of the fans yelled he's ready to go, but Sutherland doesn't look like he's ready to go to me, does he? You, you will find that the fans have a lot more knowledge of what's going on inside the ring, and they know just who's about to die. Shucks, they know just about everything. Uh -huh. Sutherland staying with that left jab. That's the best way to land it a few. 
best way to neutralize Bobby Chess is not let him get started because if you let him get started with that counterattack just like he did right there, he's going to give you real big problems. Round six. Earlier tonight, Cornell Sims had a second round TKO over Mike Bell of Hartford, Connecticut. Sims is from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Another second round TKO, Orlando Canizales of Houston remained undefeated, beating Manuel Gago of New York City. In a four round decision, Cortez Moberly over, he's from Coatesville, Pennsylvania, over Walter Houston of Brooklyn, New York. Oh, what a punch, and Mr. Sutherland is headed for Dream Street. Can he get off the ropes and regain his, his well-being? I don't think so. I think I think Murray's going to be okay. Murray's going to Murray's a real survivor. I think you've seen Murray in tougher shape than this before and coming back strong. Boy, he walked into one, didn't he? He sure did. Bobby Chess got him real clean with that one and sent him back across the ring. That was the best punch of the entire fight. And now certainly, another good left hand has sent him certainly reeling the most, backwards. So, oh, really nice little inside punching by Bobby Chess. Very quick. You'll very see that Chess won't forget to go downstairs even when he has a man in trouble like this. He won't. Waste a lot of punches up against the gloves, but even those hurt, don't they, Tex? Every time you get hit, it hurts. And every time, and the, if you'll notice, those, those gloves aren't very big. You can get somebody hitting you in the hand while your hand's on top of your face, it hurts your face, too. But Murray seems to have recovered more than enough to be able to blast out the round, pick himself out of right. trouble. The round is half over. He wants the round to end better than it started with Chez landing that right hand. Nice triple action on that left hand there by Mr. Murray Sutherland. Going uh, straight in with that jab and going under and around. Bobby Chaz got great straight action punches. Well, he's a worker, isn't he? I'm telling you what, he's a very honest worker. He doesn't he? waste anything. No, he doesn't. His, his, his economy of motion is, is really, really enjoyable to watch and extremely effective. His footwork is kept to a minimum. Yes, it is. His punches are straight. He's changing his angular attack to maintain uh, the ability to hit you both uh, one way and another, changing his direction of attack, changing his focus point of attack from high to low. He's doing a tremendous job. Don't you think Sutherland has to do something to turn this bout around? Well, uh, my suggestion would be to bring in the stool, but then yeah. again, they probably would take a different view of that as well. They wouldn't well. let him do that, no. But I'm telling you what, uh, oh, these guys are warm right in here. I'm telling you what, they're throwing good, hard, correct punches. There you Other one's not staying away. Down to 20 seconds at the end of the sixth round of a 10-rounder. Fans have gotten their money's worth. There's been good action in this one. Well, you don't very seldom have to worry about two white boys and the kind of action you're going to get because these guys are coming to do some battles. Right chop by Sutherland, but it didn't do much damage, and Chez climbs all over. <laughs> Sutherland slipped their right hand through. Didn't keep Chez off of him, though. Bobby's done a real good inside attack. Bobby Chez has maintained a very relaxed stay. He's executed very efficient punches. You think Sutherland has won any of the rounds, Tex? Uh, from an efficiency point of view, I would not say so. Murray Sutherland has shown well in some rounds, but has not taken command of a round that I would have to, that I would say, no. He has uh, missed with the uppercut. Landed with the right hand at the side of the face. Sutherland stays after him, hopeful of landing a telling blow. Tried the left hook, but there the hands were again, and a pretty good combination yes, by Sutherland. Was. Yes, it was. Ooh, good left hand by Chad. Reach a disadvantage or not. These guys are exchanging blows very well. There's been some very nice timing by Bobby Chitz to get in between some of the combination effectiveness of Murray Sutherland. They both almost know, Tex, that when they throw one, they're going to get one back. They sure do. These guys both know that they're here to war, and they're counterpunching very efficiently by both guys. Very good power structures, very, very, very good angles of attack. Halfway through the seventh round, and a looping right hand. Pretty good punch by Sutherland, one of his best of the fight. Here comes Chez. That simply wakes him up when you hit him. 
Bobby Chaz maintains those very good, very short, very crisp punches just like that. But as long as Murray maintains his hands up, Bobby will not land those crisp, telling punches that he would like to. And Murray's coming right back, making it, making it a very good fight. His right hand's pretty quick, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very, very quick. Both of these fighters are capable of fighting in the light heavyweight division, but when you move up, sometimes you take on more than you can handle. That seems to be a problem with lower weight divisions. Right now, these guys are executing very good hand technique. I'm wondering if they do have a rematch, what different approach Sutherland could take to neutralize Bobby Chess. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. He's going to be giving that serious consideration the rest of the night from now on. Nice little inside punching by Bobby Chess. Nice, nice try to get that uh, uh, left uppercut landed by Murray Sutherland. Coming to the end of the seventh round. Bobby Chess matching Jeff from Murray Sutherland. It's been a good one here in Atlantic City. Three to go. Let's watch an exchange that took place about midway of round seven. Just landed some good ones. Now we're in the eighth round. Pretty good idea that he's trailing in this fight. He better get to work. It'd be very difficult to think that uh, you're fighting in the home state of New Jersey to stop a judge and not be able to fight this part of the time. But the first stop a judge is in command and knowing what they're going to do about the two or three years. There's wet over in the corner and some of them complained about it. We have lost the audio and video portions of our program. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please stand by while our engineers work to correct the problem. Chez's record, 27 and 1, with 19 knockouts. It's a pretty good tribute to the boxing ability of Sutherland. Yes, it really is. But Murray Sutherland's got a world of experience. He's a really, really good survivor. He's got uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of rounds, a lot of a lot of ring time to fall back on. He's very good at not getting hurt. He's had more than twice as many professional fights as Bobby Chez. Well, that he has. Nine years older. That's true, but uh, Bobby Chez has, you know, he's got a lot of background himself. Bobby Chez has got a lot of, a lot of experience, a lot of repetition involving these particular angles of attack. Bobby Chez is very proficient. I see him backing up here for one of the few times in the fight, but you know what he's looking for. He's looking for that tenth round decision because right now there's no need to take a real bad chance. He's already got the fight. He just. Uh, uh, 
Well, he's still in there warring right now. He handed one to the side of Sutherland's face. Bobby Chaz has just stayed right dead in the middle of this guy's chest. Sutherland's punching power just doesn't match up with his, does it? It doesn't seem to. It doesn't have the impact of the concussion that Bobby Chaz's punches have had. And whether they're being uh, thrown more efficiently or whether they're being landed more effectively, Bobby Chase has maintained control of this fight by just a crisp, sharp punching and by having the impact that he's had on Barry Sutherland with those little sharp inside crisp punches. At the end of this ninth round, we're going to stay right here at the ringside of the Atlantis, check in on the corners and hear what they say before they go out for the tenth and final round. Good left jab by Sutherland. Then he got out of there. <laughs> Hasn't been able to land many combinations, has he? No, not very easily, because uh, Bobby Chess has kept his hands up very well. And uh, Murray Sutherland has maintained good posture and good basics as well. If you ever if you ever bother to lose concentration with either one of these guys for even a split second, they're certainly liable to hurt you. Interesting text. For the most part, Chez is flat-footed and Sutherland's up on his toes. Pretty well depicts what these two are trying to do. Yeah, well, uh, without question, Murray Sutherland's trying to make the most out of motion and mobility, trying to offset the strength involving uh, Bobby Chez. Bobby Chess's inside attack. Referee Larry Hazard told Southern to keep them up all during the fight. I thought there were quite a few borderline punches thrown by Chess. Well, uh, there were there were a few of those, but I can tell you the God's own truth is that this has been an extremely clean fight from what I can see. Sutherland said at the outset there was going to be a lot of blood. It was all going to be Bobby Chez's blood. We haven't seen any, although Sutherland has a slight cut over his right eye. Well, at the end of the ninth round, and we'll, we'll go to the... Uh, We'll go to the corner of Bobby Chaz and hear what they have to say. <laughs> like more of the same. On Friday night ringside, here's the 10th round. Who's going to change his approach, if anybody? Uh, Murray should be going out and going to war right now, pitching for the fence, which is what he's doing. Of course, the crowd down here is favoring Bobby Chaz and is screaming his uh, approval of Mr. Bobby Chaz, who has thrown a great fight out here today. Sutherland's walking in there now, ready to try to land that combination. Sutherland's got to do something right now to try to change the, change the course of this fight, possibly land a big punch. Bobby Chess be a very difficult guy that I can imagine to land a big punch on, as careful and conservative and consistent as he is with his hands up. Sutherland hasn't gone to the body very much, has he? Well, Murray Sutherland hasn't had a great deal of a chance to go to the body with, with Bobby Chess on, on the body attack and shifting his attacks so frequently from both the head to the body. And the change of that kind of focus and, and anger attack. Good right hand going. by Sutherland. Yes, it was. A great. He, he fell off balance. Was spun around. Neither one is hurt. Neither one in serious trouble, but... Uh, but Murray Sutherland landing a big right hand. Bobby Chess coming back with a left hook to spin. Nice little counter right hand. Bobby Chess is coming right back with his own counters, lefts and right, straight punches. Murray Sutherland is trying to get now a on warning, the top. A warning for Chess to keep him up. We're halfway through the final round. After this round, we'll have a message from our local stations. Oh! Great right hand. He walked Bobby into Chaz. a right hand. Murray Sutherland will not go down. Murray Sutherland has got too much experience. He will survive this round, although Bobby Chess is doing a great job. Murray's hands are still up. Murray is not in any danger, but Bobby Chess is in command and is taking Murray Sutherland to the ropes and working very efficiently to that body. Sutherland. Trying to change it around here in the 10th round. Walk right into a right hand. And, brother, he came to a standstill. He sure did. Good left hook by Murray Sutherland. Coming right back with ballot punches himself. Murray Sutherland trying to keep his hands up. Bobby Chess constantly on the attack. Two game fighters. They've really gone at it for 30 minutes. I'm telling you, these guys got a world of guts. Good left hand by Sutherland. The crowd roaring its approval for Bobby Chappy Chess and a great exhibition of inside fighting. Another low blow. And a grazing right hand. 
Bobby Chess still on top of this game. Bobby Chess still maintaining a great. This on one's over. It's a good fight. A really good fight. And they both had kind of those. They're still working on the decision here, and it allows us an opportunity to show you a couple of highlights of the tenth and final round. Chez in the white trunks as Sutherland misses with a right and then a left. He was simply spun around, nothing landed, neither was hurt. But but then later in the round, Bobby Chez drilled him with a right hand right there, and that brought him to a roaring halt, Tex. What that did right there was uh, quite simply change of momentum and the forward lean of Murray Sutherland and it really rocked him back on his heels when you catch a guy that kind of clean that kind of leaning in it's very difficult to have anything but a very solid impact and a very serious concussion yeah. Murray Sutherland wears well though and took it good Texas is a good boxing match both fellows can box both fellows did a very very valid admirable efficient job of executing hand technique the structures of both inside and outside attack I was very pleased from watching this kind of fight. Both guys fought very well. It was a good match. I wonder if they happy. fought again. Do you think it'd be different? I'd be very hard pressed to see how Murray Sutherland can, can stop this young kid, Chez. Chez looks to me to be very, just very, very tough. Double tough kind of cat. Very efficient. Very we hard. Have, we have our decision, and here is Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official scoring. Judge Phil Newman scores the bout. Seven rounds to two, one round even. Judges Milo Savage and William Costra both score the belt. Nine rounds to one for the winner by unanimous decision. Bobby Chappy Chan. Well, a lot of times when a decision is announced, someone has to scratch their head and figure it out, but not tonight. Bobby Chez with a lopsided unanimous decision. And Bob Carpenter will talk it over with the winner when we come back. Murray Sutherland, ladies and gentlemen.